Welcome back to another episode of the Steepy Weeby Show. We have a very special guest tonight. Please welcome for the first time on the podcast, YouTuber and pro skater, John Hill. <laughs> Thanks for coming, man. Of course. Are we yeah. already? On? Yeah, we're, we're on. rolling. Yeah. I've met Stevie Weeby four minutes ago. Yeah. I walked but I've in. I've been knowing about you. I feel like I know you because I've seen you on YouTube for, 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 for quite some time now. I mean, same. Um, and I've just seen your progression as far as skateboarding. Mm. Yeah. Um, and then I said something. You do have, like, when I said you remind me of someone, and I was thinking, I'm like, you remind me of Daniel LaRusso from Karate Kid. Yeah, and I didn't remember who that was at first, so and I had to Google it. it. But, but yeah, a, that makes sense. That's a compliment. I appreciate that. Thank you. Have thank you seen you. that movie? I have, yeah. A long time ago. But did... I mean, that's a great movie, isn't it? It is. Have yeah. you been watching the, the new? No. Okay. Wait, the Cobra Kai? I heard it's good. Like, really, really good. Yeah. But I haven't cheers, watched it at huh? all. Yeah, cheers. So this really hit your bloodstream. I it? haven't had an energy drink in like five or six years, yeah. but you've convinced me in the four minutes that we met before this. And I'm like, huh. But I can already feel everything in my body shaking. Yeah. So if I have an aneurysm on your you don't, podcast. You don't charge yeah. up before you go skateboarding? I, I just drink coffee. Really? And a ton of water. Yeah, yeah. I pee every like four or five minutes. Uh, you and you, I can already tell you're fit, man. I think it's the outfit. No, I'm not that no, fit. no. Okay, I appreciate What's that. Your, Thank you. They, so you're you're Korean, dude. Korean American. Yeah, yeah, Korean yeah, yeah. American. My dad is white. Okay. But I feel like I I dodged a bullet because of the stories that I hear. But yeah, yeah I, I, I will. Dude, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I have a yeah, nice, yeah, yeah. a friendly white dad. But yeah, I'm, um, from, I'm from South Carolina, so that's what's up. Are there many yeah, yeah. Asians out there? Literally none. None. I'm the only Asian in the entire state. I mean, really, there's like very little That's though. So great. Very, yeah, yeah, especially is that with where Myrtle Beach is? Yeah, yeah. Oh, how'd you? Okay, yeah. I kind of know geography. Every time I mention South Carolina, people are like, "Yeah, dude, Charlotte." I'm like, North no. Carolina. They're like, Raleigh, North Carolina. No, like, that's the Tar Heels, North Carolina. But you have yeah, yeah. Myrtle Beach. Yeah, North Carolina is actually sick. We always went up to there, but yeah, yeah I'm from South Carolina. So. so, what was it like growing up there, being one of the only Asian? kids in your school or it's so i mean it, it's it's different but it's hard to explain because i i i felt like i never felt weird about it the way that i i feel like people in california feel a serious type of way about being asian it's kind of hard to explain but yeah. for me i i think since i didn't have other asians to confide in mm -hmm. i never really was angry about anything At like all. i was never yeah i was never like oh man like if only i was white people would i was just like oh no this is like why? I don't know. I I don't know. It felt it felt kind of normal yeah. until I came to California. Why is that? Because it was really bizarre. I never heard of a like Asian representation, which clearly is a huge thing in California. Yeah. But yeah, when yeah. I met somebody out here, was like, "Hey, we should meet up," and it was an Asian girl, and she was like, "She's like, yeah, I work in the business. I just try to reach out to Asian uh, creators. You know, I want to make sure that they're good here." And I'm like, that like that blew my mind. I had never met someone who's like. Asians, you know, oh, we got to right. stick together. Yeah. I've never had that, so I was like, "Whoa!" It's a different world than South. Oh compared my to God. South Carolina. Yeah, they're like, I mean, it, it's the South, so it's like it is very for real. The South. Yeah, like yeah, 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 like yeah. if you have, you know, like Donald Trump. I don't know if everyone's heard of him, mm -hmm. but he he had like, you know, how he had the thing where people rampaged the courthouse. What was that called? Ooh. Storm the Capitol. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That that's like Capitol Hill. That's Capitol like my Hill. family. That's like like. They oh, were you in, mean them, them boy, the Proud Boys? I mean, okay, maybe not the Proud Boys but, specifically. But they but, do this. Oh, yeah. My, well, I mean, I not mean, to call it my you're brother. Used, you're but, used to this. Yeah, yeah, not me personally, but everyone in my family does that. How many kids in your high school did this? Every single... Chewing tobacco. Every single boy with a big truck. So yeah. There, so every... How many, <laughs> how many boys in your school had trucks? I mean, I would assume everyone who had a car probably had a picked a truck. Yeah, Why yeah. is that? 
I don't know. It's is it just is that an East Coast? But in Arizona, it's kind of like that too. Is it actually? Yeah. Well, is my, that where you're from? No, I'm not from there, but okay. where my mom lives now, everyone's got a truck, man. Yeah, it's weird. I mean, like it's a Chevy. It, or something? It's like the Southern thing. It's like they're trying yeah. to match that whole like country music is super popular. It's just that Southern vibe. But it was like for me, I never. So you you do that now? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I still do. <laughs> okay, my my brother's been oh, like trying to quit, but yeah, I don't. I don't there, even spit. Oh wait, yeah. what? Uh, it's gonna be in here. You, you'll see. I'll just keep it in here. You don't there's actually no, swallow it. There's though. no cup to spit in. Do you swallow it? Yeah. You know, my brother one time was spitting in a Coke we, bottle. Can we give him a shout out? Yeah. <laughs> I, Matt, the first thing I'm saying about Yo, Mountain Matt, Podcast. What's up, man? Yo, Matt, holler at me, man. I got. I'm doing this too, Matt. He's actually the best. But yeah, yeah he's been trying to quit. But when we were younger, he he was spitting into a Coke bottle. I feel like yeah. I'm accidentally speaking more country because we're I talking like about that. South Bring Carolina. It out, dude. It's Break absolutely it out, an accident. Break it out, but, partner. <laughs> but he was spitting in a Coke bottle. Yeah. And I walked by, and this is like the power of the mind, I guess. But yeah. I was like, oh, is this Coke? And he's like, yeah, yeah. but he's being sarcastic. Oh. And I took a huge swallow. That's your older brother? My older brother. Of course. Of his dip of spit. Of course. And I was so, I thought so much that it was Coke that I was like, oh, that tastes weird. But I didn't even think about it. And then oh. I walked out, felt super sick. He didn't say anything. And then like two weeks later, he's like, dude. Was that a fight? No, he, he's, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I've, you used to I, fight with your brothers? No, but you did, right? Oh, yeah. I feel yeah. like I've heard oh, the stories. Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. One time your we Your brothers got, never bullied you? He, you're either, are you, are you, are you older? No, I'm the youngest. You're the, okay, yeah, What yeah, are yeah. you, the middle? Youngest. You're the youngest. I actually have two brothers, but oh. I have a, a white brother and a white sister. So my dad was married to a white woman oh, before so i have a half brother and a half right, sister yeah 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 yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Right. but but we grew up as them as our brother and sister yeah, but they're yeah. way older like my brother's nine years older my other my sister's 11 years older you get along with them super well super yeah, well. yeah. they okay, were basically okay. like our guardians growing yeah, up. yeah 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 but my immediate brother yeah we never really fought like we were we were like he was super mean growing up he was very mean but we, he never like actually fought me we got into one maybe big scrap but he over was just what? over what i want to hear about it you know what's funny? Yeah. Okay, tell, tell me if this would really piss off your brother. I, we, were, we were carrying something, and I was like, and he was just complaining and being weird, and I said, you're acting like mom. That's all I said. And he just like he snapped. lost his mind. Really? Yeah, it was like, ah, like punching, swinging, and then I was just, you know, blocking. And then my mom came in, who's Korean, and yeah. she started doing the same to him. Does she have a temper? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She has the temper. My, my yeah. dad's like the cool, he was military, so I, so I grew up oh, military. Chill. Yeah, he's super chill. chill. But yeah, he's yeah. like, very strict military man of few words and yeah like, so I grew up in, as like military kids we were very like disciplined quiet didn't say anything like did he when did you get into skateboarding in south carolina in south carolina i was 10 but i think it's because my my dad's like extremely you know like i was talking about the trump thing very anti-government like yeah. he, he hated like authority since we were young or whatever so he kind of taught us to be like the first time we heard about cops was him being like I hate these guys. Never trust these guys. These guys are horrible. And then I think oh. I saw skating and like I saw the people in my school and I was like, well, I look kind of different. There's this cool thing that's different. It kind of feels like the thing that I should be doing Did, rather and than. And then what was your first kind of like exposure to Oh, it? Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, the game. So the yeah. video game. The first game. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. a lot of people got into totally. it. Totally. The one with Chad Muska's Totally. Yeah, yeah. I think people my age, I'm 32. I think yeah, people yeah, my yeah. age started because of that game. But yeah, that's the warehouse. There's that warehouse uh, yes. level. Yes. Yeah, 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 Every, yeah, yeah. And then the the so here I am. Yeah, do it everything. Yes. Yeah, 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 oh my yeah, god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When I played that game, I was like so mesmerized. And then I remember watching the the skateboarding in the aftermath. Like when you beat the game, yeah, you get this thing. And I was like became obsessed. And that was the first thing I ever asked my parents for ever at ten oh, years Tony, old. Tony Hawk Pro Skater was just well, skateboard. I played the demo, but then yeah, I oh, was. Oh, I remember the demo. It only had that. There's the warehouse. That was level. it. Yeah, it, it, then, that's yeah. all it took. Was like this one oh, level, I and I was what... like, but but yeah, th that was I a, that. that was the first thing I ever asked my parents for. I was like, can I? Because we didn't ask for things. Because yeah. we were like, I don't know. We we just didn't care. Uh, but I was like, can I get a skateboard? And they were like, oh, he's asking for something. They're like, we should probably do it. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, yeah. yeah. We was it like a Kmart Target thing? Walmart. So, yeah, yeah but but I had no idea though. Yeah, right. Yeah. But when did you learn like okay, this is not like It took me a while. I think it right? took like 8 months and one of my friends got a real skateboard and that was, was a Veriflex like, you had there. Like was it a Veriflex? It was or called something? Mongoose. A Mongoose skateboard. Yeah, yeah, which and is, it had the sandpaper grip tape and all that. It was basically like paper. I mean, yeah. it was no grip. And the trucks were kind of didn't janky. roll, didn't turn. Yeah. I was pushing Mongo and I had to like figure out how to do this whole thing and then 
but yeah, my friend got a real skateboard, and I was like, oh my god, I need this. So but you could tell the difference. Yeah. Yeah, but luckily my friends just like shared. So we we kind of grew up in a really cool community with like ten people who immediately got into skating the same time right, we did. Right, right, right. So everyone had skateboards to share with us, and then we just went to a local skate shop, and then everybody had used boards. So I didn't really have to buy boards ever because there was always boards in the trash oh, and then we would just take those right right and then now, we was the there a park. park or did you go to a parking lot uh. there was one skate park but it was 15 minutes away and we were terrified to ask we most of our parents weren't really home so we just skated in the neighborhood mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but i was lucky enough where my dad's like the super handyman he built a flat rail and a box he did that for you yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, so what a good dude yeah exactly yeah because at first we had like wood in the backyard so we were just like let's put wood down the stairs because mm-hmm. we had like this porch in the front yard and we would just go into the grass, no yeah, side, hit the ground yeah. hard. And then eventually he was like, well, in this game, like they have a thing that looks like that. And we're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so he, he built the box with the coping? Yeah, in like, thir- in like 30 minutes. He was just like, he was like, I think I could do that. And he had things kind of already set up. How and he was he just like. How did he know how to do that? He was a good handyman? Soup. That's what he did. So like, it, like, how did he make the coping? How- he had the metal for the coping? Yeah, he just had everything because he, oh. he, he was a, uh, I don't even know explain his job. He didn't really have like a straight job until yeah. I think I was in sixth grade so he was just a handyman so he did weekend jobs mm, mm. so he went like straight from military to like weekend jobs and became like the best handyman in the world Dude, cars man. all that stuff that's great he did yeah. that for y'all yeah yeah it was yeah. amazing so he can just can i give him a shout out please what's his name steven 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 to steven Thanks for doing that. Exactly. Because, dude, you've progressed. I want to get to your progression because, dude, you're doing some crazy shit right now. Yeah. Um, so what was the first trick you learned back then? It was like an ollie or something. But yeah, I yeah. got to go back to that. I have to start from the beginning. <laughs> I mean, you can I do all that. No, no, no. I, I saw a clip of you at Venice I got Beach. a power slide in me and a pop shove it, maybe. Power slide, I feel like, is yeah, way yeah, harder yeah, than yeah. ollie, though. But I've... Dude, I haven't skated in so long. You know how, like, if you don't skate, you just, it just goes down. Like, it's not really it like a bike. You kind of actually lose it. And then I got this now. What's that? Oh yeah, it's a little keg. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, oh fat. yeah, it's fat. <laughs> no, I mean yeah, could, yeah, yeah. It doesn't. I feel like once once you're on it for like a week, you're good again. Really? But but but, but yeah, kind of consistent. You have to do it probably every day you for do. a week. So how do you motivate yourself to even go out and do I don't, it like that? I have no. I've tried to think about this a million times. Like why I'm like because everybody in my comments too, they're always like, how do you, how do, do, you do this every day? I don't get it. Like why do you like something this much? Yeah. And I have no idea. I think it it, ha- it aligns with my job as well. Right, so like right, it's, right. And I, I want to get into all that. Like, how yeah, you got into I mean, YouTube I make a living and, skating now. And yeah. what I realize is like, I mean, I think they're connected in a way. I think if I if I switched careers, I actually think I would skate less, which sounds really bizarre. Really? Yeah, because like I haven't skated. Oh, because you vlog a lot of your stuff too. Yeah, right? I mean, I, I share a lot of my life in the world. And it's yeah. I've been doing it for like seven years. So sometimes anyone on YouTube is always like, I mean, I think you mentioned something before this. You kind of are like, I should try this thing and maybe this thing and this thing. I, yeah, because people, um, as far as YouTube, like, they, they need a new looks, right? Do, uh, yeah, I feel I like, feel you like I switch. need to experience. Do you need to always change it up? I think so. I mean, like, it, it, it's an impossible balance. I never know it either. But to me, it's like trying to find something on the side that's kind of similar that people won't freak out if you change about, but something that obviously has a bigger projection like something that you could potentially grow bigger in because skateboarding yeah. is pretty niche i mean it's it, like it is niche isn't it but it's more it's more popular now right it, it, it's popular but it's yeah. like i mean i guess like if you had like a football channel you could football is pretty damn popular yeah but it's yeah. still like how could you make like a video every day about football like right. what would it be about would it but be skateboarding, like skateboarding you can can't you, you kind of because it's more like art so you can yeah, kind of create like, a bunch of different right, things with right, it right. and you can kind of tell a lot of different stories about it so i don't know how I've been able to do skateboarding as one channel for seven years and still yeah, anyone so watches. So how did you start that? Like it was just you like progress as a teenager. Yeah, so I skate. I mean, I can I can do like a quick tr- overall. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I basically like to know. skated a shit ton my whole life. Filmed a ton of video parts as a kid. Like I found a, a group of friends really early on who were down to film and skate yeah. and do all that stuff in South Carolina, which is insane. Yeah. So yeah, we yeah. we made our first like local skate video when I was 15. I filmed, edited it, did the whole thing. We sold them to people at our school. See, that helped out a lot, you editing at a young age like that. Ex- yeah, I've been editing. Because it's coming into play now, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. The, the second I discovered editing, I remember it felt like discovering skating where I was like, You're oh like- my God. And I, I put that song that's like, I just died in your arms. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah I love that song. Yeah, first, yeah, yeah. It's so good. Yeah, first it must edit, have been something you said. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First edit I ever did was to that song. Oh, and, that's a great and song. And I was just like losing, and I like showed my mom or, or something, and she was just like, I don't get it. But it was like, I created this thing. And then, yeah, when we were 15, we did this whole thing. And then, then how did you learn to cut and like, 
t- you just, just learned as you went. Yeah, it was yeah, like yeah, Windows yeah. Movie Maker. It was really simple. There's like four tools, and you just click them. You're like, oh, if I do that, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. And yeah, then yeah. I got I downloaded like some Final Cut illegal. Yeah, thing yeah, or yeah, 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 yeah. And then with Final Cut, it was like we just made all these videos, and we were like the skater kids, and it became this thing. And then I just like basically by the time I think I was in like tenth grade, my mind was like. I don't remember school at all. I don't remember high school. So at all. you were all about skateboarding 100%. in tenth grade, sophomore year. Basically, um, when I, when I hit high school, yeah. I think ninth grade, I tried a little. What bit about to do dating that. and homecoming and prom? I actually, and all that? I did that stuff, but very passively. Like I had girlfriends. Basically, every year I would have like a girlfriend for the year. You oh, so you every like fresh every year of high kind, school, kind of like that. Yeah, it Ooh. would be, but it would be like, and I only did it because I had horrible social anxiety. So to me, it would be like. If I'm in these elements or rooms that make me uncomfortable, I have someone to text. But how did you? Were they open to skateboard skaters at they, your school? A, a lot of were people. You, did, you said outcast. Well, a lot of people didn't know I skated. Oh. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So you I, kept that hidden. I didn't even keep it hidden. I think it was just such a. It was just a thing that I did. I didn't even. I think I did keep it hidden on accident. But but in, in high school, there's a clicks. You know, there's the jocks and the surfers yeah. and the skaters. I think I didn't notice that happening because I always hear people talking about clicks, and I think I literally just didn't notice oh, school. Right. Yeah. Because right. I I would be in class staring straight, and then I would have a thrasher inside my textbook, and you would just and I would zone just do out? this all day. Oh my god. And then god. and then I started just drawing tricks I'd be doing after oh, school. Hell yeah, yeah. So I'd be like, oh, I want to switch flip this gap. Yeah. So I would draw me switch flipping a gap and be like. And just stare at it and like, I can't wait. And then after school. Oh my, you were obsessed. Yeah, it felt like after school is when I woke up. Like oh I'd be like, like, all right, time. And then my friend would pick me up and he like blaring all this like hipster mm. music, pick me up. And then then it felt like my day started. Uh, so at like 3.30. So you just zoned out like completely. a zombie. Completely, yeah, yeah. Then how'd you finish, how'd you finish school if you were zoned out? Though? Zoned I don't, out I think I just always did well in school. I think I was super disciplined. So it was like, I knew the exact amount I had to do. But then, oh. and I, so I had all my credits by junior year. So I graduated a year early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so junior year, I walked in and I said, hey, I was thinking about dropping out. And they were like... Who did you say that? The counselor or your parents? The counselor. Yeah, because my parents weren't home at that time. They Mm -hmm. they moved out for a bunch of years, actually. Okay, okay. Um, But my counselor was like, he's like, oh, dude, if you just do this one summer course, you'll graduate. You're good. You don't have to do senior year. So you're just like, C average, I'm good. Yeah, I think it was maybe le- it was probably C. Yeah, 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 about yeah. C just average, whatever yeah. you. I failed one class, um, the last year, but I was so like, Over this it. doesn't matter. This yeah. doesn't make any sense. What are we learning? I was in Latin, so uh. I was like, I'm, I'm actually not learning anything that has anything to do with. Because like then too, I was skating contests. We yeah, were dealing yeah. with sponsorships and stuff. So you got sponsored by the local shop. The local shop when I was 15, wow. which was huge for me. Like that was probably like one of the most pivotal moments of my life. Because oh, how did that make you feel? I I can't even. Probably like the best feeling I've ever it was had. Like in the lottery Still. or something. Like yeah, that. it was. Like, oh my god. Because it was totally a surprise, and the story is actually funny because it was like, I rode for the local skate shop called Blue Tile, which is so a shout out to Blue Tile. Very popular skate shop. Are they in still there? Yeah, yeah. They're they're, they're they in South Carolina. Yeah. So shout out to Blue Tile, Tile in South Carolina. They're for huge. Up. People oh. love them, like because yeah, yeah. the, the shop owner is like mm-hmm. as skater as you can possibly be. Mm-hmm. So I was very lucky where this dude was like my brother knew who he was, my yeah, oldest yeah. brother. So he introduced me to him, and I he I was like. This is my second dad. I love this guy. And he was like, you know, he was the first atheist I met. Yeah. He was the first vegan I met. So he you was... weren't into Christian camps? We grew up as Christian as you could possibly grow up. Okay, I mean, me, it's, too, it's me the, too, me too. Yeah, it's the yeah, deep yeah. south. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, it was yeah. like, it would if anyone was like, I'm atheist, people would rampage. They would scream at that person. You know, it was like a horrible thing. And this is the owner of the skate shop. The owner of the skate shop was like, he was the nicest dude. I think that's what tripped me out at first, too, because he was like, I'm vegan. And I'm like, oh, my God, that's so sweet. You care about animals and this and this and this. Mm-hmm. And then he's like, and I'm atheist. And I was like, oh, but that's the other side. That's yeah, dark and scary yeah. and weird. And I think my mind started, like, shifting into this weird, like, oh, wait, there's a whole other world out there that's not the world of church and all yeah, this stuff I grew up yeah. in. But he was, like, second dad, looking out for me, period. But, like, everyone in the skate community who was on the skate shop hated me with a passion. Like all why, the, why, why did they hate on you? You know, I still don't really know. I'm sure there's... Maybe you're a little bit better than them? May I think I was too uh, serious about skating. I think they thought I was, like, weirdly obsessed, as I've been mentioning. But that's what makes you good. I th- that's why you're so good now, don't yeah. you think? Yeah, I think it's because, like, when they hung out, they were like, yeah, let's do whatever, hang out, and they would just talk about whatever. Mm-hmm. I was like, did you guys go to the skate park yesterday? Yeah, yeah. And oh, like, yeah. like, what tricks did you do? Yeah, I'm like, what'd you learn? Yeah. And they're like, uh... Oh. Yeah. And they just want to talk about, like, life. And, and they were kind of just normal... Like, partier or whatever kids. You Will know? you dream about skateboarding at night? 
I've had a lot of dreams. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, but do you did you ever dream about like like tricks like oh I want to try so my this very old heel flip into this crooked grind like like would you get my like, dreams oh. are really sad my dreams are the opposite of reality where reality is actually better for me than my dream my dreams like I have I think I'm subconsciously super insecure so my dreams are me not living up to even what I can do in real life really? so like I'll have dreams where I can't skate at all. Really? Where I'm like, oh my god, I can't keep. I've had dreams. This is like the. That's not true. I've just seen your latest Instagram clips. That's far from the truth, brother. Well, I just been like doing crazy manual shit. In the dreams, I just can't do them. Yeah, Yeah. but but like, yeah, I've had dreams where like my brother will like fly and I'm like running and I just fall and hit the ground and I'm like, why am I so insecure in my dreams? Yeah. But in real life, I don't feel like I'm that bad. But have you ever dreamt that you were like naked in the dream and like the whole school saw you? Yeah, but those dreams feel very like. I don't know how to explain it. It's like I don't see myself naked, but yeah. I feel naked. Yeah. I've had those where it's like I can feel this area too much. Have you died in a dream? No, but like I, I had a dream I was in World War II. I've had dreams I've killed shot people. In the, what? I've had dreams I've killed people. Really? Yeah, dude. That's that Korean uh, rage. Yeah. Blood in you. Oh my god. You got that K yeah. rage. Yeah, dude. When I heard that, I, I was like, oh, that's. What do you think about Cho Sung Wee when he shot up uh, Virgi- uh, Virginia? D- d- I mean, that, that I was, was not. Baffling. A, that was bad. I was not a fan of that. I, I like, know you really well, should I mean, not have done that. Well, okay, can it let, I don't. I always like bringing it back to this because that's a guy that could have used skateboarding. He could have, because would, if he was in that camp on campus, uh-huh. like he was in and he was obsessed with skateboarding, he would just get good at skateboarding. Yeah, I think having having a a, a positive obsession is is, is a, good, a thing, good thing. Is a great thing. Yeah, I think. Right? And I think I think you just need something that makes you feel confident. Yeah. I, when you, when you're not feeling confident, that's when you get crazy and you're like, I mean, yeah, it's it's the overcompensating. You start doing weird things where you're like, I am strong and confident. Right. You're like, right, uh, right. You, Let me ask you this: How did you feel when you landed your first kickflip? I remember it perfectly. Oh, yeah, I want to hear about. Yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we were. It was at night. It was at my elementary school. We went up the street. We hopped the fence. We skated under the spotlight. Wait, what grade? What grade? I was in. Oh man, fifth grade. You landed it back then? I think I started skating in fourth grade. I think I did in fifth oh, grade. Oh, jeez. But I still... Oh, wow. But when I did it with my... So, okay. So, I have another brother that I, I forgot. I landed it in college, my first one. That's <laughs> impressive. And they wouldn't let me live, leave the mall. We were under this parking structure. Who's they? Homies? Oh, just my skating homies. Ah. And we were at a Fiesta Mall somewhere in Scottsdale. And they're like, we ain't going. You got to land it. That's a... <sighs> So I was like, you have such good I was friends. under pressure. You have such good friends. And then, and I didn't commit. I was just flicking my. They're like, you got to commit to it. You got to want to land. It. Did they say put your front foot on first and then slowly start putting on your back foot? Because they just said I had to commit. They're like, you're not committing, dude. Yeah, you're not committing. Yeah. And I'm like, well, can we just go? I'm like, no. Dude, that you have such good friends. That's I, I'm like that with my friends where it's like, but in a much nicer way. Yeah, I'm, like, yeah. I'm like, oh, you got it. But you but landed keep it in elementary them. school. It's different. You're, yeah, it was like a phenom. You're a but, phenom. But I was with my other brother. So I, okay, I guess I technically had three brothers. Yeah. Uh, one was my neighbor whose dad died, so he moved in with us. But he was actually Filipino, so it was an oh, Asian. What's up. Okay, yeah, yeah, what's okay. up? What's he up? skated too. He was amazing, gnarliest dude in the world. But he was too gnarly to where he was just getting destroyed every like. Three weeks. He would just... Well, he would jump down shit? He would, like, tie his leg with a rope to a car and ask the car to pull him because he wanted to know what it felt like to break his leg. Like, he was that kind of oh, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a different level of crazy. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's a paratrooper now. Well, of course yeah. he is. Yeah. And, like... <laughs> of course he and the is. Other, and the other weekend, he was like, dude, I fucking broke my arm, leg, like, all this shit. He destroyed him. And I'm like, how do you fall out of plane and only break stuff? But I guess his parachute ignited like 10 feet above the ground what is that what's up with his brain man? no idea that's like, insane bro. he's the kind of dude it's like at night there's this gap that no one's ever done in our community it's massive like this is it like giant a Carlsbad gap it's like that but like twice as big is the, then that one yeah it's ginormous but he was like he's like the dude who'll go out there he's drunk drank a beer or two and can't ollie on flat ground at all he's like oh he's like wobbling he's like all right turn the spotlight on and he goes as fast as he can and just tries it anyways but you need to ollie that exactly you need to be able to <laughs> do the basic trick and he'll just explode. But he thinks he could. That's insane. I don't even know if he thinks he can do it. He's just like, well, I have to try it. I'm here, and I so have friends watching. So he's just watching. gonna. Yeah, yeah. The speed's gonna cover he's, the gap. He live. He lives like a million miles an hour, and like. So he thought he could do it in his mind. He thought he could. Yeah. Did you talk some sense into him? I never could. He. What do you mean? He, he was. He, Ollie, don't he was you? the same age as my older brother. <sighs> so that's like insane. everyone in my family. I mean, we're yeah, sporadic, crazy, yeah. Fam- whatever. But he's he's yeah, he was like that. 
my brother's really intense as well. It was just like, and I was kind of the like delicate one. So I always moved slowly through things. And I think that's oh, why. Oh, you with your skateboarding? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you did one step at a time. I was super like. Technical. like Jump off the curb a hundred times, then jump off a two stair a hundred times, then a three stair a hundred times. So it was like OCD almost. Yeah, I mean, like yeah, a, I, I yeah, think a lot of people would recognize my skating as OCD, 100%. Because I'll do. Still to this day? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because I'll, I'll do a trick literally like 40 times. And like every time looks the same, but people will be like, all right, it's good. And I'm like, oh, one more, one more. And I'll do that for like two hours. Really? And then they'll be like, oh my God, it looks the same every time. And I'm like, uh, and like there's, there's a basically a sensation or a feeling that I get from yeah. it. And if I don't get that feeling, no matter what it looks like, I can't move on. Like, how did you, how did you learn like your trick progression? Like, did you, what did you learn first? Like a 180 or? A, yeah, it was all the basic stuff. So po- shove it. Yeah, it was all the basic stuff. And yeah. The, and then when did you learn? Because now it's crazy. You're doing all this crazy manual sh- stuff. And things just start, Um, what's it called when, when things start compounding? So like oh. once you learn like 500 tricks yeah. or something like that, then all of them mix together. So like the next day you can just combine three and it feels like you already can do it. So what's up with the Japanese kids? What's in the water in Japan? I have Japan? no idea. There are 12-year-olds who are better than everyone in the world. I, I it mean, makes but no what's sense. in the water in, there in Japan? I, I, I thought, in my head, I, I had a really like sad conclusion. Kid, like, exactly. What's I had, wrong with this I kid? had a sad conclusion. I think they have coaches. That's crazy, dude. But then I'm like, wait, do coaches, they clearly work if they have coaches? It's perfect. They're perf- perfect. I know, and it's it makes like, me sad because skateboarding is this thing without coaches, but I think yeah. clearly works if these Japanese kids are able to win the Olympics. But that Jin Woo kid's like... It makes how no... Old, how old is this He's kid? like three and did a half. Did you see his run on the Yes. He like a, did a double varial. He yeah. just, just threw one in there. Yeah, like, I saw. Whoa. He did do that. He did. That's really funny that he did that. Yeah, <laughs> that trick's called a nightmare flip, by the way, which what, is because so it looks so ridiculous. Double varial kick. Yeah, just went, and it flipped real quick, and he just landed. Yeah, it. but people are so good now that it you, it doesn't translate anymore. You just look at it and you're like, okay, that's not skateboarding, uh, even though it is. But there's something because uh, shout out to my homie uh, Andrew Nicholas and Faces Skate Shop. He, I said, who are the good kids? He's like, the best kids right now are Japanese. Hundred percent. Yeah, Dude, what, no question. What is it about? I do what not know. It? Have you thought about? I mean, I'm I've sure literally thought about, thought about it. I've only thought maybe coaches, but that's all I think about. I don't know what else could it it could possibly like Yuto be. Is like he doesn't fuck up. Yeah, I don't want to like be like. Yuto doesn't fuck up at all. Yeah, we can't talk about the blood of Japanese people. Are, is no, it no. in their system? <laughs> Like, is it just, like, genetically? Well, that's, that's interesting. That, that's a horrible way to look at it. No, I'm no, like, no, are they but genetically but engineered why, to be better than us? But why are they so technically, like, and they're consistent? Yeah. I mean, that, that's, like, a it's a meme that Asian people have these, like, quirky talents. Like, they're, yeah. they're obsessively good at things that kind of don't matter. But there's not, like, a lot of skaters coming out of Korea. Exactly. Or, like, Taiwan. Exactly. Or China. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. It's mostly well, yeah. Jap. Well, no, there How are. does the there Chinese are, skate team are, work? There are. But not- Japanese are... Way above. Way like above. I follow all the Korean skaters as well, and man, I, I, hopefully none of them are watching this. But yeah, 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 but they're they're nowhere near the level of the Japanese skaters. But they yeah, are but really good. They're just not. Jap- it's just a different. Yeah. It's insane. And people from where I'm from would be like, "Well, they're the same thing. It's a Korean, it's Japanese." I'm like, "No, it's the Japanese so, are on some other shit." Dude. It's ridiculous. I don't know ridiculous. what's going on, but I think the government's behind it now too. They're you pushing they're for fun- it. You know what? I think it's the um. They're so. Uh, what, what do you call um, disciplined? I think there's a lot of discipline. Yeah. You know, like I'm not. I don't want to compare it to martial art, but maybe yeah. like Aikido or. Something. Did you do martial arts? Yeah, I did. I did. I, I, did, I, did, I did Taekwondo. Yeah, 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 I did yeah, Taekwondo yeah, yeah, yeah. until I was after the Karate Kid. Like I got inspired. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. But um, I always wondered that because like I saw that Jin Mo kid. I'm like, okay, this he's doesn't next. make any sense. Yeah. No, it doesn't. Just, um, do you follow him? I do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I would love to. I would love to hear like a, a scientist of Asian culture break this down yeah. because have it, you skated with any of those kids um I, I don't know i think i know those kids but they're always in japan yeah i mean that kid he all he does is skate those what was that i just put my dip in here yeah oh, okay I, I, well, you, you're observant yeah yeah no, it, normally guests don't notice yeah 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 i can only handle it for but so it, long that's so but i had it in there for what 20 minutes yeah. but yeah, it looked yeah. like you just wiped but you got all of what you put in your mouth out Oh, a lot of it's contained inside the tooth crack. Yeah, yeah. Got my it. mouth is all messed up. Yeah. Okay. I could talk to you an hour about just... How, how do your bottom teeth look? Ba- I'm missing. I like, don't forget. Yeah, they're gone. I have the holes in the back of the tooth, too. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, how, you, how come your teeth are so white and nice? Top teeth, fine. Bottom teeth, fucked up. I just but noticed how nice your, t- your your the front row is. The top? Yeah, yeah. yeah they're yeah, not yeah. bad. They're, Even they're, though they're, my, my front one is, like, devolving or dissolved. Because, like, yeah. they, they accidentally scratched off too much of it. And you can actually see, like, a... a Pole in my front tooth. You but, but they're so they're they're glistening. I appreciate that. Is that Colgate or what? What do you got? What are you working with there? 
<laughs> yes. That's Colgate? It actually is, yeah. <laughs> Good job. It's kind of, it is Colgate? Yeah, yeah, it is, With actually. The I, was, I was thinking about it. No, no, it's not the Prox. It's just oh, the normal okay. one. Oh, it's yeah, just, just normal. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the normal one. I just brush my teeth for three minutes each time. Do you floss? I don't. Okay. Do you? How long do you brush your teeth for, though? Just once. Uh, I do it in the shower. But how long? A minute. Yeah. I mean, because three... Three minutes is a long time. How much do you, how long do you brush? Three minutes, because my thing has a sensor on it, and you press it, and it goes for three minutes. Oh, but it feels like forever. Three minutes is a very long time to brush your teeth. You but don't floss, bro. You have nah, dude. Your teeth look clean, bro. I've I've heard rumors of flossing. Yeah, I've heard rumors of shampoo. Do you use shampoo? Yeah, what do you use? I stopped using shampoo. Really? A, a while ago, yeah. Well, I use it like once every month. Yeah, it look like your your hair's nice. Too. Like it's without- better now. Without shampoo? Yeah. Really? Except for the first two weeks, it gets really greasy. What, do you put soap in it? I don't do anything. I just I just wash it. I rinse it. That's it? Yeah, but then like maybe once, if it starts smelling, I'll put shampoo you in it. You know what? That's crazy because lately I've been shampooing and globs of hair have been coming off my head. It's probably in a different shampoo, thing. shampoo because the chemicals maybe or something. I don't know. Watch watch Johnny Harris's video about it on YouTube. He talk, does a whole spiel about shampoo. He quit is, doing it for three but years. But there's chemicals and fragrances and Your stuff. Your hair gets better. I mean, well, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Everybody stop using shampoo now. Really? So then how, you just, do you use, use like body wash? Or I use body wash, yeah. 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 I, my, my body is clean, but yeah, my yeah, hair, yeah. If, you, like, if somebody just was like, in my hair, it probably wouldn't be the best. So. Um, do, do you think, do, 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 do girls mind that if it doesn't smell like shampoo, if it's just your I normal pheromones? I, I think it doesn't smell that bad. I, th- I I do put soap in it once in a while. It's something about shampoo that freaks me out Can now. I smell it? Yeah. But I, I mean, right now it doesn't smell good because I feel Oh, it, it smells fresh. Does it? Yeah, it doesn't smell oh. like anything. Well, well there it you smells go. fresh. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. That's okay. no shampoo, no nothing. For like, yeah, for a long time. Wow. Yeah. When did you decide to do that? Literally when I watched his YouTube video. Wait, who is this? Can we give him a shout out? Yeah. <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> his name is, so everyone knows skate- who he is. Japanese skaters yeah, to, yeah. To, to not using shampoo on your head. If anyone's watching YouTube, you know who he is. His name's Johnny Harris. So shout out to Johnny Harris. And what's his whole shtick? His whole shtick is like he basically uncovers these insane stories. He used to work for Vox. These insane stories about like Russia. Why Russia is at war. Why China is doing this. Oh, da, da, da. But damn. then randomly, like my relationship with the Mormon church. Super Ooh. interesting video. And then why I don't use shampoo. Yeah. And I was like, <gasps> and then I watched it and it was like, cause he edits like, like, like a, I don't know, like a UFO documentary where it's like deep in the jungles of blah, blah, blah. But he's like talking about shampoo. Are you into UFOs, dude? <sighs> we can't be the only life form. I mean, there's gotta be something. Yeah. I mean, there. I'm down. I just don't know what it looks like and stuff. Yeah. I don't know. I, I can't imagine something kind of looking like us really though out there. Right, right, maybe, right. Maybe something that's just like, we maybe couldn't. a little bit like us with bigger heads and like humanoid. I feel like kind of maybe. Like, I feel maybe. like I wouldn't rec- we wouldn't be able to recognize them as a living thing because or something. Because they have that technology, maybe the cloaking technology. Yeah, or just something, maybe, maybe it's like a, I don't know, it's like trying to explain to a dog like color. Like yeah. I, you can't explain anything. Maybe it's like an alien trying to explain show what they look like to us we're just like we don't get it like maybe we're looking at five right now what if there was an alien race out there that they have a different sport above skateboarding where they they don't they could do, just use their mind and you know japanese people <laughs> that's that's literally the yeah but maybe, what if they have a strand of dna in them that makes them a, a more advanced as far as their balance and um oh, that's a cool. i mean if they were if they were like humans and they were more advanced than us they'd kill us all that's how it works, right? Yeah. If you're like a little just, bit better, but you're kind of human. But if, yeah. if if you're better though, I thought about this. Yeah. I'm like, if humans, if there was like a human race of humans that were just a little bit better than us, they would just kill us all. Yeah. But what if the next step of being better is realizing that you shouldn't kill humans, but yeah. we're but we're just always teetering below the line of acknowledging the fact that we shouldn't kill all humans. Yeah. Or that yeah, because that's what we do, right? We kill yeah, yeah, else. we kill yeah, we everything. Kill yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm like, man, if only we were a little smarter, maybe we'd figure out that the killing is. The that's problem. right. That's right. Um, like going back to your trajectory, man. Like when so you got sponsored, and then when did you like uh, start doing the YouTube thing? YouTube was like. 22 23 i did it way i mean i was sponsored at like 15 moved to california at 22 mm-hmm. i think i started youtube around 24 or 25 yeah 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 so i did the whole like i basically moved to california because tony hawk and his company came to south carolina birdhouse 
Yeah. Yeah. So Birdhouse came to Columbia, and I was showing them around. Shout out to Willie Santo, Willie the OG. Yeah. 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 yeah dude, yeah. I was so stoked meeting him. What was it like? Yeah, shout out to dude. He's the OG, right? Willie there, Santos yeah. is the greatest. Yeah, he was so especially nice. Especially in San Diego at that time period. Well, especially the vibe of the Birdhouse team was like this gnarly crew of dudes. They're like, yeah, folk. And that's how they mm-hmm. talk. Mm-hmm. And then in the corner, I see Willie Santos, and I'm like, Hi, Willie. And he's like, Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Willie Santos. I was yeah. like, Oh. Um, he's still ripping. Oh, dude, he's the yeah, best. yeah, he's the best. Willie Santos is amazing. So how'd you link in with Bird, how'd you get linked with Birdhouse? They hit up a local skate shop. They were coming to Columbia. Can you write that Birdhouse? I didn't. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I didn't <laughs> know that. I don't know, yeah, I'm glad you brought that. Yeah, up. They, yeah, they were yeah. coming to Columbia, and they were like, "Can someone show us around?" My skate shop hit us up, and they were like, "You and your crew show around Birdhouse," because that's when I was riding for mm-hmm. Blue Tile Skate Shop. How old were you? I was like up there, 20, 21. But you're ready. Oh, I, I like I. It was kind of one of those things where I was like, I prepared my whole life for this, but also the thing where I'm so scared of things like that. Where I was well, like, socially, yeah, yeah, don't you have to get along with the other team members? Exactly. Or I, I, I hated the idea so much of having to like impress humans that I was like, I'm not going. Because you're all about yeah. just skateboarding. I was like, I was like, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't yeah, do it. I can't yeah, do it. You felt like I'm very much like that. No, no, no. I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to know how lame I am or how bad I am compared to people who are actually really good. But. The opposite happened. I like met up with them, and you got along right away. Got along right away. Skated really well, and they were like, we skated for two days, and they they had this Thrasher article, I think, about it, where it was they skated from New York City to Florida, but they went to South Carolina, Columbia, and eight of the ten photos in the article are from Columbia. Like that's how good that's of a time your, they had. That's your area. My area. Your Columbia, area. Yeah, sorry, Columbia, South Carolina. Yeah. So we we showed them like the most curated, perfect time ever, where we were like. This spot at six a or you know ten a.m. This spot, it's, we were like so prepared. So when they met up, we'd be like this spot. We get out of the car. Tony Hawk actually boards to the handrail, a street rail, and that was like a huge thrasher yeah, thing. Yeah. And that was in our hometown because we were like, we know exactly what spots you guys skate, and you'll love these. And they were like, oh okay. Were they ledge spots or tra- transition? They were spots? so not ledge spots. Yeah. Because it's hard to explain, but like with ledge spots, it takes longer to film. So the filmer, really? yeah, he needs to go through ten skaters. So he needs spots that are like. One trick. Ledges, oh, you do two like or three you tricks. You just jump down, boom, you got boom. it. Yeah, you jump down, you get up, you jump down, so everybody can just go quickly. Like, oh. da, 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 da. And they were trying to get a lot done. That's but a lot of pressure, though, like, to land it the first time. Right? It is, but it was like, I was so juiced, and somehow I skated with these people, and it went super well. So you were landing your shit. Yeah, I was, I was, I was like... Yeah, I would say that I was I was impressing them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. so we did that for two days. No, was that the intent, or you just wanted to skate good? It was partially the intent. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I, I didn't want to. Oh, because you want to get put on. Yeah, you know, you're, it's like I just wanted outs. someone in California to see me skate. That was like it was because we're all the way across That's the country, the, and that was the goal for you. And there was it? nothing in our community that like anyone cared about. Like nobody cared yeah, about yeah, South yeah, Carolina yeah, 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 yeah. at all. So this was the first time that someone was going to see from California. South Carolina skating right. in our neighborhood. So I was like, show. I was like, dude, we have to go. I have to try everything as much as I possibly could. And my friend was the filmer for me or whatever. And he filmed all of them too. But yeah, I met them and it, it went really well. And I remember like I was riding the high for like a week and I'm like, I'm going to hit them up. I want to be sponsored by Birdhouse. So I was actually in Ohio visiting my dad at the time. Dayton? Uh, Cincinnati. Oh, Cincinnati. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then I, I sent a message. I was like, hey, can I can I get like flow for Birdhouse and potentially ride for your company? And he just replied, yeah, dude, you killed it. You're awesome. We love you. Like you he hit the, 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 the gener- team manager, the team manager. Yeah. And he was just super down right away. And I remember like staring at the message for like 20 minutes, like this is my big break. Oh, oh my wow. God. Somebody from South Carolina is going to like be able to go. Wow. But then I lied and I was like, yeah, I'm thinking about moving to California and like totally just made it up. Uh, and he, he replied like, well, if you're if you come out here, we'll take care of you. We'll take you on trips. You'll do the whole thing. Like you can oh, be like, oh, because uh, it was a geography thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was he was like he's like if you come out here, we'll we'll take you on trips. We'll mm-hmm, give you whatever you want. Mm-hmm. You can come to the warehouse, blah blah blah, or Tony Hawk's skate park. Mm-hmm. So then right after that, I filmed every month. I would film like a minute of footage and send over, which is pretty unheard of in skating. Like you people usually film like a minute or like maybe like two minutes a year. Oh so I was doing God. like a minute. And I was sending it every month, and he was like, "Holy shit, bro, you're killing!" It. And then I skated this really big contest, and I got, I, I, I got second place at the contest, but I won this thing called the Destroyer Award, which is like the best person who skated the weekend, and it was a huge contest. How so many? Like, how many contestants? Two hundred or something like that. Oh my! God. Yeah, it was, it was a lot. So, so when I sent him that, or he saw the video, he was like, he's like, "Dude, you're doing pretty good out there." <laughs> and then I, and then I met them in Florida for this other contest. Yeah. And they were just like, "Bro, come out!" And I was like, "All right." So then I, I got my filmer. And I got the photographer, and I was like, what if we all just moved to California? And, like, they were all just instantly down, which is insane. I don't know why, but they were like... Who's they? 
It was a filmer named Chris Rogers who still films, and then it was a photographer named Luke McKay. Those are your boys. My boys. You grew up with. Yeah. Well, I grew up with one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm yeah, the one yeah, who yeah. I gave him my camera. And but was that's just like, your crew. Yeah. That so was, do you need that, like, to make it in skateboarding, you need, like, a filmer and then another... You don't need it. it but I mean, that helps, though. You, you need it? to at least get into a circle with those things. You do. Yeah. So you need to find the people, at least in California or somewhere, who films, takes photos, and they're, like they're And you trust them to do their job. Yeah, I was really lucky because I had two friends who did the thing that I needed. Yeah. So I was do you like, need an editor to edit the clips? I could do it, but my filmer edited it, too. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right, so right. We, we were a pretty packed three-person team. And when we got out there, we were like the most hungry individuals ever. But as soon as, as, soon as we moved out there, it was like... Since it was go time. And oh, where in San Diego or up here? Long Beach. Long Beach. Yeah, we moved to Long Beach. Okay. Yeah, so as soon as we moved to Long Beach, he's like, all right, do everything you can as fast as you can. So I was like, okay. So I think in three or four months, I'd basically film like some kind of skating segment for every single like channel there was. It was like, there was like the five big skate outlets. And I was like, all right, what do they want? A minute? Cool. Boom. What do they want? Skateboard mag? This. So I just did that for every oh big magazine. And then Long Beach was like the skate mecca. So we became friends with everyone. We did the whole thing. And like that was the pace, and then Birdhouse hit me up, and they're like, "We're doing an LA thing, come out." And went out with them. We're doing a San Fran thing, mm-hmm. went out with them, and then we went to Arizona, and that's when things started disconnecting. The Arizona trip was the the downfall of the entire thing. Well, in what ways? So when I went to San Francisco, I was like, "Oh shit, I don't think I like being in a van with a bunch of people I don't know." Oh. And that was I'm I, yeah, I was just like, because I'm so used to growing up with friends who skate and filming with my best friends. And it, are you a bit of a loner too? Do you need your alone yeah, time? Yeah, hundred percent. I, I kind I got yeah. that sense of yeah, I, I know I just met you, but I, I, I got. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting better. You, you, you like to have your own. Kind I of think as a kid, I, I, I was just so comfortable with the alone yeah, thing. Yeah. I, I just did it like, I, I, it's kind of a weird thing, but like, my, I lived in a house al- alone since I was in like high school. Yeah. Since I got into high school, yeah. so like getting into ninth grade was just me and my brother. Yeah. And then we did all of high school. Basically, my parents were in a different state, and then. And then they moved back at like the end of high school. And it was weird. Like yeah. I was like, how do kids have parents? This is really strange. Cause like they didn't know how to do it. Yeah. We didn't know how to do it. This awkward thing. So like, I think we were really used to just like having complete silence. I, I'm the same way as you. That's why yeah. I live. I just, I need that. I definitely could. I mean, I'll, I'll like, if I have to go and I have to do something, I will. But usually like 95% yeah. of the day I'm alone. That's the thing with California that's cool, though. You're kind of forced to, right? I bet for you all the time, it's like, hey, can you come do this thing? And you're just like, yes. Like in California, you just, I've only been here for 10 days. I put in, I'm like a mule or I'm just like, I dig in. Yeah. I'm like, just like, oh, no, I, I want to, have to. <laughs> but like la- last night was the same thing. It was like, there's this thing. And I'm like, oh, and yeah. then it's like the night before there's this thing. Because in California, there's always a thing. So yeah, it's like, really, there's always like, like even when I talk to Andrew, he goes, oh, there's a premiere. I'm like, yeah, I'm good. And he's it's, like, I'll pick you up. I'm like, I don't want to. All the way in Arizona? No, no, no. Like my homie, Andrew, Andrew Nicola. Well, like he's, you know, the guy that owns yeah. the skate shop. And, premiere where? Um, I don't know. He, he always sick. in L.A. somewhere. He's like, okay. hey, there's going to be a some kind of skate. Pr-. I'm like, dude, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, that sounds sick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm good. But I just, <laughs> I don't like being around a lot of people like. Yeah, like yeah. I mean, I, I kind of force, I, I've always been like that. But, yeah, I know. But my progression. I, I, a feeling you, I just had a feeling you were. But my progression with like networking and getting to the next step has always been so slow because of that. Oh, because so, you have to do that. You have to do those kind of things. But like, it, it, it's always gone slow for me until maybe like 10 days ago. And I was like, all right, I'm going to completely switch up. I just try to do that whole thing. Right. But like so far, it's actually been pretty chill. It hasn't been bad. Like just being like, like I've been dreading every single thing I do. Yeah. But OK, so from Arizona, you just you just you, you had an epiphany like for South Carolina. Yeah, oh, right, no, no, because you, know, oh, you said the Arizona yeah. trip, and you're like, you know, I don't know if I want to be around all these people. In a yeah, band. we just didn't get along at all, and I kept thinking it was just me. Like I thought, like skating works like this. You have to be around people, and they're. It's not that they haze you, but like they're not going to be friendly to you until you prove yourself. But what oh. I realize is people aren't really like that. Like oh, everyone right, right. else I meet in California has been like, "What's up? Welcome. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah, awesome." Yeah. But there was a few people on that trip specifically where I was like, "They're really mean." And I don't, and I think it's me, but they're really mean. But it would be, you know, there'd be a dude sitting next to me, and I'm not gonna say his name, yeah. but he, I would be like, "Was there peer pressure with like the weed or not drugs really that? That I didn't really. Yeah. I mean, that stuff is. I'm totally cool. Which you think, oh no, I'm not, I'm yeah, 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 weed yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I, I, had, I drink a little I bit. I got but. that sensibility. I don't think you. I had a feeling. You yeah, didn't I just drink that. a little bit, yeah, but yeah. like, yeah. So I'm, I'm. That stuff doesn't bother me because I think yeah. people are cool with that. Yeah. But it would be like, 
um it would be like me being like dude because you know skate nerd i'd be like hey man i saw that part you did because of course i did yeah. but i'd be like i saw that part you did fucking that wally you did off that thing was amazing yeah and they would look at me not say anything and then turn and be like anyways and start talking to the person next to them and that's that kind of weird because it's almost like well, how are you supposed to know these unwritten rules of like i'm not it's supposed almost to compliment like you're not you? supposed to you guys are skaters but you're not supposed to talk about yeah and i didn't skating. i didn't do it in a creepy way i was just like oh dude that part was fucking sick good job that's kind of weird. It's like these these social cues you weren't yeah. really um, familiar with, or and that's kind of weird. Like no one who teaches you exactly because I, mean, yeah. I think too like South Carolina is such a different beast that I'm like okay I don't I don't know the like if there's a rock star mentality of California I don't know it. You have to teach me that I'm supposed to be like oh yeah. don't talk to me like that. Kid. Yeah, like, you you have to teach me that. But Do you think that you felt like <laughs> I mean were you kind of like the odd one out a hundred percent like socially i was awkward? like sitting in the back seat by myself and they <laughs> no. were like talking to each other in the front and what do they like, talk about stuff that's non-skateboarding related they just knew each other really well so they were just they could just vibe and joke and for me well, what, what, what would the what would they talk about like, i don't know just anything like just stuff that's not skateboarding. just what best friends are yeah but just oh. what best friends talk about but they they weren't like every time i would try to interject it felt like i was like jarring into the conversation and i could feel it too where i was like oh shit that it th wasn't in your head you felt that i could feel that yeah. like everything i said felt like the antithesis to the conversation i'd be like yeah guys that's crazy yeah and then it's like quiet <laughs> and i'm like fuck yeah and every time i said something so i was just like, i just gotta stay quiet oh, man. and that like must, I'm, that must have felt uncomfortable it was man. super awkward yeah. san francisco was fine yeah but um, why arizona so, so san francisco was fine but i could feel the wedge being you yeah. know, plus, plus at the time it was really awkward because I was in in uh, San Francisco. I had basically just run out of food stamps right before yeah. the trip, so I had ten dollars. And then they were like, "You want to go to San Francisco with us?" And I'm like, "I have ten fucking dollars yeah. for three days in San Francisco." And I'm like, "Uh," and because I had food in my freezer yeah, that I bought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, I looked kind of insane because for like three days they had all these snacks floating around the bottom of the van, and I ate all of them. Every oh, single one, yeah, I, yeah. I ate all, that was my food for the three days. I What's ate all the of them. Purpose of these trips to get footage? I... Yeah, it's just to get footage. Okay, okay yeah. Okay. And we were, we were going to Thrasher, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we went to Thrasher skate park and we filmed this really cool video that ended up being awesome. Yeah. But then it was just like, it was every time we went to a restaurant. Since I couldn't buy the food, I would I'd walk over to the gas station and I'd buy like something for a dollar, and then I'd go to the restaurant with that. Yeah. And eventually they were kind of like, "What are you doing? Like, why do you keep like we get to the? It, it was actually awkward though, like. It is weird if you think about you and your friends. One dude gets there, and then he walks to the gas station, and then walks to the restaurant. Right. They're like, "What are you doing?" And I'm like, "Oh, sorry, I just I don't have money right now." But then like they all their they trips. Didn't, they didn't like treat you out. Or... Well, Tony Hawk was like paying for their trip, but for whatever reason, oh. I wasn't having. Wow. Yeah. But they wouldn't even float a meal or nothing. Nah, I didn't ask, but. Yeah, but that's the right thing to do. I thought on skate trips, that's because on that's literally what I thought. Where I was like, I'll go because I'm assuming. Wow. They're just gonna float the bill. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Wow. So I mean I don't I don't think they were trying to be uh, mal malicious, malicious yeah but, but it's kind of like non empathetic in a way yeah so so the it's like so watching some guy next to you stop <laughs> yeah I and think you're like on the same trip he's like yeah, uh, yeah. Dude, we just ate some steaks man I also what are you doing and you have like a bag of peanuts yeah yeah, just yeah. Like, I think I'm also like I, I am also insecure about the money thing just oh, because oh man I, oh yeah it's that pride like who wants it, to yeah I, I think like as a kid too it was yeah. like I, I I'd have so many parents kind of look at me and be like oh. Yeah. Uh, like at, at whatever situation I was going through, and I'd be like, "Ah, like I hated that feeling God. of people looking down at me." I don't like but, that. That's just like not really being sent. It's like you're eating like these Doritos. Off yeah, the carpet. yeah. I mean, literally, it's like, like, yeah, yeah, dude, yeah, what are you doing, dude? And eating all their yeah. foods. <laughs> yeah. So they're like, "Where's the fucking snacks?" And I'm like, "Oh, so it, like it six just, boxes around so me." So you had when it got to Arizona, that was it. You're just like Arizona oh. was like when I could really feel the wedge. Like I was like, these dudes just don't like me. Like, that's it. You know, the, the team manager likes me. Yeah. And he thinks I have a future on the company because I went down to the warehouse and I was like, I was like, what's the future look like for this brand? And he was like, we're going to turn Mike Davis, uh, Am, who's this yeah. other Am. Yeah. We're going to turn him Am. We're going to turn him pro. Or we're going to turn him Am, turn you Am. And then eventually, if you guys are killing it, him pro, you pro. Right, right. And I was like, fuck yeah. And then I was like, well, how much? I, I shouldn't have asked this, but I was like, how much do people on your team get paid? And it was for such a remarkably low number that I was like, oh. Because like in my head, I was like, you're at least going to pay me this much, which I could survive on because I'm good at surviving a little bit of money. Can I guess the, the, can I guess the right, the proper thing yeah, to pay a guess writer? Guess the am, which is what I would have been making. I, if I was the manager, yeah, I would say at least 
twenty five hundred dollars at least a month for yeah. being am for yeah being am twenty five hundred <laughs> to three thousand my, my I mean in L A yeah that makes sense three hundred what yeah it was like three hundred dollars yeah you can't pay rent and I was like so if I if I go as hard as I possibly can and I get sponsored by your company like every day all day skating and grinding I'll be making three hundred a month and I was like holy shit and I got like really nervous and that that was part of the that was probably part of why I looked at YouTube. How are you and I was supposed like, to survive? You you have to work how many however many can jobs. You, well, okay, if can you sell product? Yes. To compensate. So sometimes companies will give their riders more products so they go to a skate park and sell it. But that's like that's a whole nother job. You have to be yeah, a salesman. Yeah, you have to be a salesman. Time. So you have to then you could probably make a G if you really if you go slang. for it. Yeah, yeah. If you go for it, but. It's usually like oh, shoe God. companies. So I didn't have a shoe sponsor and it's very hard in skating. But like Nike might pay you more. But yeah. like but the thing is I heard someone even talk about Nike and it was something similar. Where it was like one of their top pros was making like that, like three hundred or something. And I'm like, Nike? I was you would think ten thousand yeah, a month. Because I because I think they sponsor like a thousand people or oh whatever. Oh my but God. Yeah, so that So maybe you did the right thing if you kinda got, well, kinda did your own thing, get your own YouTube. Yeah. Your own thing. It eventually obviously worked out because a lot of the writers ended up quitting eventually. Yeah. Like a lot of the people in that van ended up quitting. Oh, um, okay. But that trip was strange because I remember you know, this is me like trying to learn how to be Californian, I yeah. guess. But like we went on this trip. And then we were going to this contest and I remember saying like, oh, like I was like, I'm not going to skate the contest because like I don't do that anymore. Street skating is way cooler and better. I'm just going to do that. Yeah. But like I said it pretty forcefully and I think he was kind of like, well, you probably should skate the contest. But like in my head, I'm like, no, no, no. Contests are was really like stupid. Phoenix Sam or yeah, something? Yeah, it was. Okay. It was actually Phoenix Sam. Um, he was, I was like, no, contests are kind of lame. So it's cool. I'll just do street. And I think I, I was accidentally rubbing him the wrong way. I didn't even think about it. But then when we got to the actual contest... So many of my friends in skating had run into me. So I was like, oh, I'll just hang out with all my friends. So I kind of stayed away from Birdhouse unintentionally. And I started hanging out with them. But then this is where I made the biggest mistake. I already was so not in the mood to hang out with any of the dudes. They were kind of clowning on me a little bit. They were kind of hard to get along with. So it was only polit like, po like bullying or politics. It was of. just them like not wanting an extra person. And I think they just didn't like me, wow. honestly. For whatever reason, wow. I, I... Yeah. Which I can't blame them for, cause but but it definitely You're was a not. Nice guy. I mean, doesn't he? He's a nice guy. <laughs> I it just don't it was definitely it not from me being mean. I know that. Yeah. I think it was from me just being like It's definitely jarring. a them problem than you're than a problem. Totally. Yeah. Nah, I don't know. I don't know. I th right? I, yeah. Thank for you. Sure. I, I think I just have. Yeah. I think to them I had like a naive personality. I think I was kind of like, oh guys, whoa, that's cool. What a, you know? And I think they were kind of like, ugh, like this kid's just think they're dorky. Skaters. It's and, almost like it's almost like it was like back in high school, like the jocks or something. That, yeah, like, or something. That's it's the so thing. Weird. I think I think I grew up kind of really being like, fuck jocks and this and stuff, yeah, fuck then, frats and yeah. the, and I think when I got to LA, I remember being like, oh my god, the skaters are jocks. Like we're popular. Like, I yeah. remember, like, there was a lady talking to me, and she was like, you know, when you're a kid, and I've dealt with, you know, over a thousand times of people telling me to fuck off, like, yeah. tons of cops, tons of, you know, whatever. Yeah. And in California, there's, like, a lady who's like, she's like, oh, my God, you're an athlete? That's so cool. And I'm like, oh. Like, I'm like, wait, you're an athlete here? If you're a skateboarder in California? What? And, like, yeah, so I think insane. people here just grow up with more confidence of being yeah. a skater. And they yeah. actually are cool. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, my God, I'm. I'm cool now because I'm here, but so, I don't know so how to do that. So maybe that was a good thing that happened because you, can't, dude, you have like a crazy, you have like a million subscribers on your yeah, YouTube channel, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, a, li a little over a million now. And like that's million, your, yeah. that's your platform, dude. Yeah, it's actually. So they don't got any of that. Uh, yeah. You it, know what it, I'm saying? I appreciate that. It did. It Come does, on, Johnny. It does Come trip on. me out. Yeah, because I, it's, it's funny thinking like, because I was shouting someone out. This is, I'm bragging. This is. No, but dude, <laughs> at the end of the day, I think you won because well, you got your own platform. For, well, I was you thinking, monetize off your shit. Come yeah, on, I, was, I was thinking because I was, you remember when I first moved to California, I was giving people all my footage yeah. and I was like, please shout me out, please shout me out. And I was thinking, I was like, oh my God, I get to do that now. On your own and thing. Yeah, you yeah. have your own challenge. I have friends now who hit me up and they go, dude, can you post this thing? And I'm yeah. like, oh, this is so cool. I get to do the thing that the other yeah. companies did for me. For, yeah. you know. Like, I thought, dude, I just discovered you. You popped up on my algorithm. I'm like, oh, who's this guy? And oh, I was yeah. watching your shit. You do vlog. I saw some of your yes, vlogs. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. They definitely changed over the years. But even when I look back, Back in my old vlogs, they're super jarring, yeah. but I still like that they're so weird. Like I, I watch my. What do you use to film, man? I'm trying to learn off like other. Well, now content. I just use a Sony. You sh everyone should use a Sony A7S three. Oh, 
Oh, I need to write that yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. 78.7 S3 is the so, best vlogging camera. Because I need to start, yeah, because I need to start yeah. switching it up, man, you know, because things are getting, you know, because I, I I haven't been on it as long as you have, mm-hmm. but I'm, I've noticed like, oh, they're like, starting but to But you're constantly making stuff. I mean, this, Well, I, this I, 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 like, I'm consistent. I at least do a weekly upload, but do you have to, how many, that's how many, a lot. How many, how many, how many videos do you need to post a week? It just depends on what you're making and how, so m- can how you many. can you say the camera again? Oh, Sony A7S3. Sony A. Seven S S three and I use now a, why now why this I don't know it's just such a good camera and is there a gimbal stick for it No you have to buy like a Gorilla Pod you do Yeah okay, they're pretty can cheap Can you tell me that like if I text ask Yes you? Okay. I'll send you all the um, links How much um do, does it have autofocus Yeah it's like the best camera Yeah it's great really? for vlogging It's made for vlogging Really Yeah that's what it's made and for And how much is the uh, what's the retail price on that I think it's like close to three thousand for the oh, camera oh, Come again. I think it's like close to three thousand. <laughs> I think, and I, that's a little bit above my. Yeah, my, I think the lens is close to that too. Actually, it's just pretty expensive. It's like a five thousand dollar setup. Oh, really? Yeah, it, it can be very expensive. Is there any of the alternatives other than this camera? Yes, there are a lot. I could send you like the cheapest alternatives that yeah. work almost just as good. Because this is yeah, this okay. is a little bit. Okay, I was just gonna. My, I wanted to start there, but grade. then I I have yeah. both directions. I could. What's yeah. the frugal uh, version of this? Uh, I forget. The, Panasonic. Or something? I would just look up Sony Point and Shoot. Wait, say it again. Sony point and shoot. They'll have like Sony versions of this. Point and shoot. <laughs> yeah. And I want to ask you, do you do skateboarding lessons? Like if someone wants to can you I teach don't. people? I you know? I, I do in person if a kid's like, How do you kickflip? I'm like, Well, I'm here, they're there, and I'll tell them. But like I don't actually set up skate lessons. No, I'm saying me, like if I pay, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I'd be like, hey, can yeah. you teach me how to crooked grind? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because my, yeah. my friend Shout out to uh, Faces again and Andrew. He, he said he would teach me how to back crook because he, he could lock into him real good. That's, yeah, okay. uh, and I've always, I know how to no slide, but I've never been able to, to lock into a... It's just the a, next step, yeah. Like, do you have to approach it parallel? Or how do you, uh, yeah, I do. For crooks, pretty pretty parallel. I would say go, go at a slight angle because it's angle. easy to land primo when you come out of the trick. How do you not get, get into a no slide? If you go, oh, you just have to not turn as much. And you have to put a lot of pressure on the nose. So you have to do it at an angle. Yeah. Do you put most of your weight on your front foot, like? At yeah, a- yeah, yeah. Front foot towards the your goofy. Yeah. Towards the heel on your nose, you just put a lot of pressure on, and then you have to make sure that you lock in. So. Can you front crook? Yeah. Okay. How, well, was that hard to learn? Front crooks are pretty hard. It's yeah. Pretty hard. Yeah. What would be the easiest, uh, other than a like a front fifty fifty? What's the next kind of? Five zero. Okay, then after the five zero. Oh, well, how'd you learn the five zero on a little slappy ledge? Yeah, just like a tiny little ledge at the skate park or something. And that's it. Yeah, I just did a bunch of fifty fifties, like a hundred, and then I was like, because that's what I, I just did, like a hundred. Yeah. And and then you, what about all your flip tricks? Like, what? Like, is there pro- progress there? Same thing. There? Yeah, kick flip, and then you do you slightly turn. You're like front side flip, back side flip, yeah. fakey flip, fakey front. You just start. What about turning. hard flips? I suck at hard flips, but I, you can. I can do hard, you Yeah, can do I can them switch and nollie better. Can you do fakey? Yeah. Fakie's way easier. Regular is the hardest one for me. Um, what about um, like Vario Hill? That's like one of my favorite tricks. Yeah, it is. Vario Hill. Yeah, you got that fakie. Yeah, and yeah, you yeah. got it nolly. Yeah, so you have it all around nolly fake. Yeah, switch. The yeah, whole yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. I've definitely like probably done most flip tricks at least once. But yeah. do you? When's the last time I, you did a kickflip? Oh, man, <laughs> dude, I'm getting fat, bro. Like, dude, I. I need to do. That's why I'm mm-hmm. saying, like, I maybe I need to start cruising again. Yeah. You don't do any other type of exercises. No, Walk, I need. To, I mean, run. dude, I've had that. I need to because I got that from his skate shop. He he he. The that. art? No, 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 no. The, oh, the clothes. The board. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, okay. Yeah, but um, um. Was it free? No. Well, no, no. Well, he he has flo- he has given me one. But, okay. Um, I I gave it to a kid at uh. Uh, the Tempe Skate Park because it was pretty yeah because he he had uh it was a kid he had a that's pretty nice and I just gave it to him and I'm like it was like you know damn he, yeah I just gave it to him but then I I bought another one off his skate shop because I felt bad I'm like yeah with yeah, skate yeah, shops yeah, you yeah, all yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah skate yeah. shop is a very sh- it's a hard business yeah yeah hard it, goods yeah. and skateboarding are the it's the probably the worst business you could possibly do the markup it's commendable though because it's, it's all 100%. about the community and stuff yeah they profit so like ten dollars in Tempe you guys yes yeah yeah. Um, skate shops are holding it down, but there's most of them have closed down, which is really sad. So if you're still remaining, you're probably a very, very legit skate shop. Have you skated the Tempe Skate Park? I haven't. I know which one oh, you're talking you about. Love too. It. It's huge. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah you yeah, would love I it. Yeah yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, dude, the hour already went by. You gotta Shit, come really? back. Yeah. Oh my can god. We, can we plug? Um, I wanted. We didn't to talk about so a many, lot of things. I know. I wanted to ask. We just talked about, about that stupid skateboarding thing. Yeah, no, oh, what the hell? No. Oh, sorry. But um, can we plug your um? Anything you wanted to plug, your Instagram and, and your um, uh, YouTube? 
your YouTube. I would say yeah. YouTube. John Hill is probably the easiest way. And then yeah. how often do you upload? Like three times a week. So a lot. So you do three yeah. times a week. Yeah, and, and like I'm, since I'm in California, it's really easy to film a lot of stuff because there's so many people who I'm collaborating with and hanging out with and skating with that it's like it's way easier now to make Are they fun on videos. Vlogs? Um, they're vlogs, but they're more well, curated. To? No, oh. they're they're actually more like bigger subjects now, like. I don't know. I'm, I'm experimenting since I've been I gotta in pick your brain because, man, I mean, you know yeah. what you're doing with that. We, we should talk more about yeah, this. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, could, I wanna, yeah, this that's, could be a podcast itself. Yeah, like the I, whole just, I just wanna, yeah. I wanna, like, I'm open to, like, try new stuff now because I realize, okay, you can't be staggy. I gotta. So at least once or twice a week, at least for uploads, huh? That, I, I do three times. My wife only does like once every two weeks and she's killing it. What, what kind of content does she do? Tech, tech stuff. So she talks about like computers and new oh, MacBooks and da, da, da. Wow. She's very, I guess nerdy is the perfect yeah. word for it, but she just knows do everything. Do you guys have a family like, channel? No, no, okay, no, no, okay, no, okay, no, okay. no. We're, we're, we're saying wait, like yeah. a lot of her audience thinks. But you, that, that's pretty lucrative if you. Yeah, I don't yeah. think we could do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we're, we're married and a lot of people still forget that we're together. Because we, we're so not involved in each other's content. Because you compartmentalize? Yeah, you but we've, separate we've been slowly... Because I've been kind of wanting to cover more real estate because there's so much cool like houses and shit to look at. Yeah, in. yeah, yeah. So yeah, I've been yeah, making yeah. videos of that, and she'll come out for those because she loves real estate as yeah, well. Yeah, but, yeah. How we, long y'all been married? Like a year almost. Okay. Yeah. Is she from South... No, yeah. she's from Texas. That's why we lived there for two years oh, recently. Oh, wow. Yeah. But she just made like the best video ever of our wedding, which oh, is interesting. Cool. Do you want to give her a channel a shout out real quick? Sarah Dici. I love you. Yeah, yeah. Actually, we're in the wedding room right yeah, now. There yeah, she's go, awesome. There you go. But yeah, yeah. Subscribe to that too. I mean, her her channel's a, she's she's like a huge YouTuber. People love mm -hmm, her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. She's really popular. So, um, dude, that that flew by, bro. That was yeah, too we fast. Do, yeah, we gotta do a we part got, two. Part I gotta three. do a whole. I was gonna talk to you about yeah, being yeah. Korean, and we only yeah, like yeah, talked yeah. about we'll two things. Korea, yeah, we'll do that next time. Yeah, yeah. yeah Cause like, have you skated out there at all? Or where in Korea is it, is there a skate? Yes, I went there. I went there. God, because I know there's so much shit to say about the Korean thing. Break dancers. Oh my god, I didn't know that. You know what I mean? Like one of the reasons I was in California because I'm literally interested in asking Koreans what it is to be Korean. Yeah, That's like part yeah. of this journey. I didn't even get to ask you. But yeah. yeah, I went to Korea like three years ago. Yeah. And it was just like a life-changing experience. And Dude. I'm like, da 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 And I, you know. K-pop's huge out there. Yeah. Huh? And I have a Korean family who I just don't know. And I hung out with them. And I'm like. You like the food too, huh? It was good, yeah. It's good, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I happen to be vegan too, though. But it's you just could tough get the, you could get kimchi chige, like with the yeah, tofu. Yeah, totally, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Plus, yeah. I kind of gave up when I was out yeah. there when I was visiting. So the A A seven. That's three that three thousand, huh? Something like that, probably. Yeah. What it's about used? Expensive. What about used? You could probably get one cheap used. Can I get one for a thousand or below? Maybe, yeah. It depends on what website you buy it from, but yeah. Okay. There's yeah. probably so many people in LA with like yeah. a used. Because right A7 now I'm S3. just using my. I want to upgrade from just doing it on my phone. Honestly. That's how everyone starts, though, right? I think if you're not gonna, g if you have an iPhone. Do you like the newest, newer no, iPhone? No, I have the one of the older. Yeah. Honestly. Should I just get a new iPhone? Yeah. And yeah, just yeah, vlog yeah. on that. Yeah, if you're not trying to super step it up, iPhone is way it's better than bad, all the other right? cameras. And way better. Airdrop it onto your phone. Oh my god, iPhone boom, is boom, the boom, camera. Boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Airdrop, it's so convenient. Yeah. Yeah. Most people who vlog just use iPhone. Really? Yeah, yeah. Unless yeah. you're like trying to get art with it and you care about yeah. all that stuff, you really just use an iPhone. Why is Emma Chamberlain so big? That's a good question. She's definitely. I'm definitely not her audience. Have you but watched her? I I ran into her in Target, in the elevator. I ended up accidentally being in one of her vlogs no yeah and i asked about her camera i go hey what kind of camera is she that she's filming yeah but it's, i'm off camera but you could tell it's my voice so, so she's in an elevator so with one other person yeah and, and she's it, holding a camera and yeah no yeah well she's yeah they're vlogging in the elevator oh it's her and somebody else yeah and her friends i go hey what kind of camera is that and she goes and they're like it's kind of like the same way you felt in the van <laughs> <laughs> She's like, fuck this guy. I look like an idiot, bro. <laughs> she like rolled her eyes. They're like, like uh, who the hell is this? Oh, oh my god. god! You know who I saw today at the mall? What? Sandra Bullock. Oh, that's big time. I see people at dude that Westchester whatever. Last time I was there, oh, yeah, I saw yeah, yeah. Ben that's Affleck. A, that's, a, that's a nice mall. That's a nice one. Yeah, yeah well, Westchester mall. Yeah, well, yeah. No, no, I was like, sorry, Century City. Yeah. There's always like, yeah. You know what's crazy? I uh, I was doing laundry down the street and uh, I. I Going to Guitar Center or Sam Ash when I put my stuff in the washer. Okay. And I was talking to the guy. He's like, he, I was like, hey, do it. Are there any like people like celebrities that come in here? He goes, oh, Keanu Reeves was in here last week. Dude, that's the and one. And he said he was super cool. Literally, the he's the one. What? Keanu Reeves yeah. at the Sam Ash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I go, well, well, is he a musician? He goes, oh yeah, he's a bassist. I go, he's everything. And, yeah, and he said he put his I feel arm like around he's him. God. He was like super cool. He was like, hey, yeah. I'm like, wow. Dude. So that's cool. 
We should. Go, you should see. I just brought that because be the movie Speed. You know, How many so days I'm... can I hang out at Guitar Center before I run into Keanu Reeves? You just go there every Is day. Is that a vlog time. idea? That's a vlog idea. Am probably, I allowed to do that? Probably not. <laughs> You're like filming every day. Yeah, There's I need Keanu. to pick your brain about the. How do you come up with these ideas? Well, we'll talk. Yeah, we'll off talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This, I mean, this this. Do you be write a, your ideas down? I do. Yeah, my my go. notes are insane. I have like 200 titles. Yeah, so you got to do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And, but out of all those notes, I, like, what do you execute? We're like, okay, this week I'm doing this, this, and this. Yeah, you know, I I, I wish I had like a quirky thing where I was like, yeah, that's so hard for me. I, I'm pretty disciplined with those kind of things. Yeah, my yeah, my yeah, wife yeah, yeah. is the opposite, but she crushes it because she's the opposite. She wakes up late. I'm sorry. We're, we're, we're going to, we're, we're one. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. When, it, when, it, when it's like her time to focus though, yeah. she's like ADHD. She's in there. Do like, you have a little bit of that too? Like, I don't think so. I, I think I, I, I'm, I do a to-do list and then I just do the to-do list. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, that, yeah. That's, I just wake up at 6 a.m. and then I just do it. Yeah. And then yeah, my, yeah, yeah. my wife hates me for it, but then she gets more done somehow because she's just like, she's like, you know, she's the one who like sleeps all day, and yeah. then all of a sudden there's like this moment where she's just like two hours in, but in those two hours is more productive than I am yeah. like for eight hours, and I'm like, fuck. I was I was gonna propose something. If can I link you in with Andrew from Faces, and maybe Please. we could all go cruise around somewhere. I would somewhere. love that. I would love that. Yeah, it'd be fun. He lives here. Yeah, he um yeah he lives out here, but then he goes back and forth to Arizona. And oh, back. I would love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's hang out more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, I. I just feel like I want to at least get to a certain like level where I can at least like because I'm like really unstable on my board. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. yeah. Just yeah. It's important to take it slow <laughs> or anyone who's like trying to grow. I mean, I got a power like I'll go to seven and do like one yeah. power slide. Just don't get nobody something. should get ahead of themselves. Like <laughs> yeah, especially yeah. with skating. You really got to take it very slow. Then, yeah. You're done for. Yeah. You could be literally out for like six months. And it's like it's not really. Worth yeah. It that and much. there's not many good like I go to the janky ledges around Hollywood High. But oh, like street spots. Well, it's not even that great of a yeah, ledge, but no. it's just like really rugged. Well, Hollywood is so there's so right much off, shit everywhere. Yeah, 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 it's too much. It's too there's chaotic. literal shit. Literal everywhere. Yeah, li- yeah. It's <laughs> What's your sign, man? What, wait, what's your horoscope? Are you cancer? Uh, cancer? No, no, Scorpio, okay. Scorpio. Scorpio. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. We're Virgos in here. Yeah. Ooh. I'm just saying. <laughs> just kidding, yeah. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But we're very kind of nitpicky, organ like you know. Ah. I know it's kind of it's messy, but there's like I try to. There's okay. clearly um. Something to the chaos. What's it called? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. There's an order uh, method to, the chaos. to my madness. Boom. Yeah, yeah. So uh, can we can we sh- can we um, plug your Instagram and in, in your YouTube? Yeah, it's again? just John Hill. So Instagram yeah. John Hill. John Hill. And then YouTube John Hill. And you'll be able to keep up with everything I do. I actually told her I go. We have a we have a guest, Jonah Hill. <laughs> she thought I got you mixed up. It and she go, and then I go. Oh, I'm so sorry, it's John. <laughs> yeah. People will yeah. be like, holy shit, I thought this was Jonah Hill. And Go I'm see like, Mid-90s, though. Uh, you seen that movie, Mid-90s? I haven't. Okay, but it's I about skateboarding culture yes, and stuff. Yeah, I got yeah, to, yeah. I got to. Um, all right, so thanks for tuning in to another episode of the Steve Weeby Show. Um, go check out Scissor Bros every Friday. Um, those episodes drop um, 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Go subscribe there. Um, I'm still working on my um, album. I'm 75% done, so, you know, be patient. Um, go to, if you want to, um, oh, go to patreon.com slash Weeby. I do an audio diary log every week, so you can only get it there. If you want to send any packages, send all your stuff to 1425 North Cherokee Avenue, P.O. Box 1391, L.A., California 90093. Dude, it was an honor. Dude, dude. Keep it up. You are killing it.